Hey guys, um, here is part of my completed projects for the month of March. Um, this first one I'm going to show you is something that I did for a new friend of mine. Um, we were having a couple of drinks and he asked me if I could do him a sampler and we started talking about it and this was a quote that he um, is fond of. Um, I picked out the house and the flowers and put them together. And, but anyway, um, this is for my friend Todd. It says, if I knew the way, I would take you home. And then I put the flowers representing the different flowers or different people in his life following the path to the little house. So, um, yeah, I did this on... It looks like 28 count. It is even weave. It is the first time I have ever done anything on even weave. I liked it. Um, it took me a little while to get used to, but uh, for the most part, um, yeah, I liked it. So, uh, anyway, if you're interested in this pattern, I am going to be putting it um, uh, probably on my Facebook page, or you can email me at young40mom. That's Y O U N G. 40mom at uh, gmail.com. If you're interested in having this pattern, I will email it to you for free. Uh, since I did do it as a gift, it was a simple stitch. I did it within, I did it in 24 hours. So, yeah. Um, the pattern that I put it on, I did put it um, as calling for 14 count, um, but I also have measurements for. 22 count and I believe 18 count um, in the pattern as well but anyway so there's that one for my friend and he is going to have that framed to match his home himself so there's that I finished my Valentine stitch finally um, this is on the fingertip towel um, I'm going to be gifting this to my friend Brandy. She just recently moved last at the first of the month and as a housewarming gift and it's Be Mine. This was my Valentine's Stitch Along from the Cross Stitch It's Fun group on Facebook. Um, I did not have the color it called for for the um, for this darker red color but I liked it because that was what it's called for for the back stitch so I thought well I'm going to incorporate it into the flowers since I didn't have the color I believe it called for 531 I could be wrong I know there was a, a, five, a 498 can't remember the color number but anyway it, it worked out really good um, the camera showing this blue as being darker than it actually is but I, I the bees turned out really cute um, in the pattern they did not have stingers so I added little stingers to the bees because bees have, have stingers so I, I had to do that. The eyes are French knots. Um, I don't have a problem with French knots. Um, I don't like them but I don't have a problem with them. Uh, but anyway so that is the second complete for this month and I will be back with I think I might have one more to show you uh, before the day is over and um, I'll just add it to this so I shall return all right so this is what I've been doing the past few days um, trying to get my floss organized I had a bag of floss that I'd been accumulating and haven't really done anything with it I needed to get it put on spools because right now I don't have any other system to keep track of them um, I still have to wind these I'm working with those. Um, I have four of these filled and I'm having to reorganize them by number. Um, I have, I need to file all those. This is a package that I'm going to be giving away eventually, um, but I am 
sorting through that. And then we come over here and we have these. Um, those I need to file. These I need to file and reorganize. And there we go. So that's what I've been doing these past few days. Those colors are so pretty. I love the purples. Um, the, the 200 series has all the pretty purples. And there's uh, part of the 500 series has some pretty purples. Anyway, that was DMC. Um, let's get to um, the other segment of this video clip. Alright, on to the whips. And you guys are familiar with Noah's sub. Of course, I still need to do all the back stitching on that. And like I said, I did this one on 11 count, um, 3 over 1. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I have done 6 stitches on this. Yes, I. you heard me right. I said 6. <laughs> I'll tell you why. I had started it one day a couple weeks ago, got distracted, put it down, and literally forgot that I had been working on it because I've got so many others that I'm working on. But anyway, <laughs> six. Yes, yes, six. Right in here where that pretty water is. Um, I actually am going to work on it this weekend. I'm going to force myself to finish at least this color. Um cannot remember what it is because I've got my patterns um, stuck everywhere um, and as I finish I have to put them away because if I don't um, I found my cat laying on top of the next one I'm about to show you which was kind of disheartening because I was not happy at all I think yep oh I've got a needle what in the world I'm trying to poke oh that's my needle trying to poke through from there. Well, it looks like I was in the middle of a stitch. Alright, but anyway. Yeah, Noah's sub. Uh, maybe Organic Granny will get hers going. And uh, you can see the progression better on it. But it's, it's going to be so pretty once I get it done. But anyway. Nope, our phone's tripping. Alright, so let's set that out of the way. This whip is... A portrait I am doing um, for a friend of mine. Um, it is on black, 14 count Ada. I do not like working on black, but if I did not work on black, the surrounding area of the image was black, and I would have had to have stitched it all in. So instead of stitching black, I decided to go with black fabric. Now. If you can't see it, which you probably can, because I think the camera's picking it up, the cat has decided this was her bed, apparently. Um, I have not worked on this in quite a while. I had it sitting out to work on it. Had all the threads laid out. And, uh, yeah, I looked over, and I don't know if she's been doing it while I've been at work or what, but, yeah, she's... I'm going to have to take a lint brush to this one um, because I do not want to stitch the cat hairs because the girl I'm making this for is allergic to cats. That would not be pretty. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, the next one I have been working on diligently is my um, abstract curves. Um, this one I'm doing, again, as if you guys have been following me, you'll know that I'm trying, I'm using up that bolster I've got of the 14 count uh, light gray Ada. So that's what I'm putting this on because the fabric's going to be covered up anyway because it's all blocks of color. Um, and the pattern calls for DMC 2 over 1 for the black and I am using 3 over 1 for the black. Um, I had got some of the, um, the thread and I was going to do it in the thread but I had already started with the 3 over 1 in the center and I thought it would kind of mess it up so I decided to go ahead and continue doing that um, I've got some blocks of color to finish out in here more outlining of the black to do and some more chunks up here but anyway so that's that's what I've been working on mainly here lately is getting this done because I, I don't have to think about this when I do the block of color and it's just mind numbing so I just just fill it in and it's good to go 
Uh, one of the things I noticed, and you will notice here, see how the color changes? Did not realize that this was an older thread. So guys, if you do not know this already, which most of you already do, but some of your new people do not, if you're doing a pattern, make sure you get enough to do the whole pattern. Um, the ones that I create tell you how many skeins you're going to need for the project. Um, not all patterns give you that information, unfortunately. Um, but this one, <laughs> oh, so frustrating. I didn't realize that the dye lot was different. But yes, DMC dye lots, if, you're, if you need one color, make sure you get a lot of that one color at that one time and you, you may not want to mix them. I don't know. Um, but that's what happened. It is the right number. But you can see it's just a shade darker. But the way that this pattern is with the abstract, I'm going to make this into a pillow. It's not going to really stand out. Um, so what I have done is, just in case some of my thread is older than my newer thread, um, I'm doing the outline of the blocks first and then working my way inside, which is what I did with this one. For, I was very fortunate that the two that I used on this one, it did go in as the same dye lot. Of course, now it doesn't tell you it's a different dye lot. It's, uh, but anyway, so that's something to keep in mind if you are using an older thread and you want to use it up first. Um, you can kind of see that I did that with this one. I did the older one first and then the newer one in the middle, which kind of gives it character. Um, gives it kind of like a water um, block effect. I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well, but it's, it's really pretty. But I, I did not, I did this part first and didn't realize that that's what it was going to do. So anyway, so this is my abstract uh, curves and I am, of course, doing the photographs so that I can do um, a quickie on it when I get it finished. Um, after I have it cleaned and pressed and all that good stuff. But I don't grid. I do the center lines. Um, this one I did in four pages, so it worked out perfect. Um, but as I'm doing it, I take the thread out. So, But anyway, so there's that one. And my Q-snap that I had that on decided to break on me. These are the um, loops and thread from Michaels. I had to get some more clamps. The clamps are only $2.99. This frame was only $9.99. Used 50% off coupons, five bucks. So it's no big deal. Um, and it works pretty good. But when I was doing my towel, my Valentine tea towel, this is what happened. The other one, I mean, it just split because it was just too thick. Um, and it could be because this brand, maybe it's a cheaper made PVC. I don't know. I'm thinking about going to Lowe's and seeing, checking out what I can get there. If maybe I can get a better deal, but since I'm going through them so rapidly. But anyway, so I got two more since those were broken. Use those up. Now on to my other friend, Erin. This one turned out pretty good. Um, this is an older pattern that I made. And... Originally, um, so you can see where this comes across. Had I thought ahead, I would have just gone to the border color, which is what I did up here, and not done all this white. So I went ahead and did this side. I'm gonna put my name in 2015 because that's I'm I'm pretty much finished with it. I'm gonna finish it this weekend. Um, I do want to fill in a little bit more of the white up here, just to make it more even. I do not like the black. It looks good from a distance, but I created a palette on my pattern maker um, when I do the sepias or the black and whites to take out the black because the black is so predominant in these pictures and in this particular one doing the sepia. Um, and I, I don't... Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think the black goes really good with that. So I took that out of my palette and saved it. And so now I have a separate palette for my sepia and a separate palette for my I say my black and white, but it's actually grays and white, um, different shades of grays, and and those are going to be really pretty. I'm going to do a portrait of my sister and my niece, and I think that's going to look really good. But anyway, so his little bear comes out really good on his uh, bib. 
I did this on 22 count Ada. Um, I want to say it's even wave actually because that's what it looks like. I'm not sure. I don't I don't think it's Ada, but anyway. So anyway, it's on 22 count. So that one will be totally completed this weekend. But I want to go ahead and show you because I, I pretty much am done. I you know you've heard me complain about the the white on that one. I'm not really too happy with that. So and last but not least, my alligator is all one color. Um DMC 701. I have pre-flossed many needles so that I could just grab it and go and grab it and go. This is my go project. I have not been going much. Um, staying busy. Don't have time to stitch when I'm out on the road. So, But anyway, so this is as far as I got on the gator. And um, it's a quick stitch. It's all simple. It's one color. I think this would be really cool with some variegated colors. But um, again, doing it on the gray because this is one of my sample patterns for, uh, for my shop. Um, but anyway, and then if you're interested in any of these patterns, you can go to young, go to Etsy, E-T-S-Y, um, e can't spell, um, and just type in Young 40 Mom, Y-O-U-N-G 40 M-O-M, and it will pull up my shop. So, um, actually you can Google Young 40 Mom and it'll pull up my Facebook, my shop, my YouTube, my everything, um, which is kind of fascinating to me. But anyway, so that's all my whips I have for you. Um... Turn the camera around and I'll let you see. Oh, Ellie in the window. Oh, I got a nice little haul. I'm not going to show you all my haul. I, I, to me, it was fascinating. It may not be to you, so I'm not really going to show it. But I thought I'll show you these. For 99 cents, regularly $3.49. I got these on Clarets. Can you see them? They're little skulls. Little skull beads for my rainbow bracelets. I thought that would be awesome. That's really cool. Not really sure what I'm going to do that yet. And then here I am separating out my rainbow colors um and i think that's it oh um just so you guys know let's see michael's where's that there it is two bag fulls right now they have their sugar and cream 100 uh, percent cotton thread starting today and going to the 18th for 97 cents regularly a dollar 99 so y'all run to your michael's and stock up I don't know if that's nationwide in the U.S. or not, but anyway. So that's where we are. Um, I did get... Let me fold you up. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And I did get a um, another loops and thread. I'm going to call it a Q-Snap. It's not the Q-Snap brand. But I'm, I'm liking these. I'm liking having them on there. Um, like this one. This was, this is the 8x8. Eight eight. I think, I think that's what this is. It's just a pretty good size. Um, it's kind of heavy on my wrist, and I will switch back and forth between a hoop. But for the most part, I love, love the tension on those. It is wonderful. Oh, um, here's a whip update. I'm trying to find this amusing. See this little pin? This is the starting point for my sampler. <laughs> as far as I got uh, for the yeah the sampler we were supposed to start I think it was March the 1st this is so bad I am so bad um, it's so cute and I want to do it it's got the ABC's and little woodland animals and uh, I'm doing it on the 22 and, and I just if, if I'm not feeling it I just can't stitch it I just if I don't feel it you know I, I'm sure I'm not going to make myself stitch something that I'm not ready to do. I signed up for all these stitch alongs and wow, I don't want to feel the pressure, but I am. So, <laughs> just doing what I can. So, yeah, that's my uh, my whips, my finishes, my, my floss that I've been doing lately. And I guess that's it. So, peace out, Young 40 Mom. Bye, guys.
Is that your Easter basket, Ellie? What's she going over there for? It's mine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.